Hi, I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com and today we're going to be learning how to add faux stitching to any Cameo file or SVG cut. First, we're going to learn how to add, and in this case I did black stitching, to a piece of cardstock using the print and cut feature, and this will work like I said earlier on any silhouette or SVG cut. And next, we're going to be learning how to flood fill an image with a pattern that is part of the Cameo Studio software and how to add the faux stitching and we can change the color of this faux stitching to any color that we want and lastly I'm really thrilled to be able to show you how to do white stitching this is on a studio file from the Silhouette Cameo and all I have done is flood fill the image and we'll show you how to do that in just a moment well, why don't we go ahead and move to the computer now? Before we get started, I want to give special thanks to all my friends at the Silhouette Plus message board for teaching me this wonderful technique. They are an amazing and talented group of crafters. What I've done is I've gone ahead and opened up Silhouette Studio. This is a file from the Silhouette Online Store. I have the designer edition so I can open SVG files, but if you're opening a Silhouette file, you do not need the designer edition for this technique. However, I so recommend it for opening and working with SVG files. It normally sells for $50, but you can buy it for $30 online at pumpkinpatchstamps.com and that's pumpkin, P-U-N-K-I-N, patchstamps.com. Well, I've gone ahead, like I said, and opened this image and sized it to approximately three inches. The first thing we're going to do to get our faux stitching technique is we're going to go and open the offset window, which is right here. I'll click on it. I'll click on the image. And then I'm going to do an internal offset. So I'll click here. And this is where you can set your distance. If you want a stitching line over here, an eighth of an inch, you can set it wherever you want it. Let's just do it at like 0.115. And then I'm going to hit Apply. Next, I'm going to go to the line thickness. Click there, and you can see here you're going to have a variety of lines, dotted lines, that you can use. I'm going to use the third one but you can use any of them. Now if you left the line thickness at zero, it would be a really faint dotted line or faux stitching, so I'm going to do mine at about 1.25. Now the next step is very important or it will not print. You have to go down and click on print lines of selected shapes. You're going to click there Next, we're going to go in and we're going to choose what color we want the dotted line. So we'll go to the line color window, click, and for this technique we're going to click on black. And you can see that it immediately changed the stitching line to black. Now the next step is also a critical step. We're going to go to the cut window. And as you can see, if you were to cut it now, you'd this dark line would cut and all the little stitching lines would cut. Now there are a number of dies on the market that do that, so if you want that look you can just go ahead and just cut your image. But I don't want the inside to cut, I want it to print, so I'm going to go up here and click No Cut. So now you can see you've got the gray which will print and then this line is the cut line. Next we're going to go ahead and close our cut style window and I want to show you a little trick for using uh, the print and cut and how to save paper. Next we're going to go into this particular window it's called the page tool window and I'm going to size this and you can size it to whatever paper you really want to. I'm going to do it 4 by 6 whoops I don't know what I did there let's go back and delete that and I'll just type in four inches and we're back in business. So you can see that the paper is four by six inches. Next we're going to go to the registration mark window, 
click on it, and we're going to click Show Registration Marks. And as you can see, this image cannot be in the gray area, so it's fine. If it, if it were in the gray area, you would need to move it down a little. So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and print. But I want to show you just a couple of steps with the printer because it will, it will vary with your printer, but let me just show you a couple of quick things. We're going to go up here and we're going to send it to the printer. And I'm going to reach over and just turn off my Silhouette machine because I'm not going to want to cut this because I'm going to demonstrate three different techniques. So now you're going to go into Preferences and I am using a Canon Pro 9000 Mark II wide format printer, but your printer format will vary. So I'm going to go into Preferences and there's the drop down on the printer paper size and I'm going to click 4 by 6 and that's what you would do if you're using a Canon. Hewlett Packard may be a little bit different. In other printers, the, the drop down menu at the very bottom will have a custom area and you can just type in the size. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to send it to print. And I'm going to cancel this because I'm not going to print it or cut it at this time. I'll show you a couple of other techniques and then we'll go ahead and, and do that. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Okay, so the next thing, I'm going to walk you all of the way through this and then we'll go on to the next technique. After it prints, you will come back, you will put it on your Silhouette mat and then you're going to send it to the Silhouette machine. Now we've already printed, so we're going to click here to skip printing and you're going to put it on your mat just like it is here. You're going to load the mat into your Silhouette cutter just like you um, always do to cut. And I'm going to click continue. Then you're going to click here and it's going to say detect automatically. It's going to read these registration marks. There's going to be three of them. And then it'll say do you want to cut? And you'll say cut and you'll be finished. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. But I want to show you a couple of other techniques. Let's go ahead and just close that. We can go ahead and leave the registration marks on. But what I want to do now is I want to show you how to flood fill this particular image with a pattern. Now if I fill this with a pattern here and cut it out, there's a chance, a small chance that you might see a little white paper if it doesn't cut out perfectly. Well with the Silhouette Cameo I found it to be almost flawless, but I don't want to take a chance. So I'm going to do what's called like a printer's bleed. I'm going to click on the outside and then I'm going to go back over to our offset window. Now this time I'm going to do an offset, not an internal, and you can see how wide that is, and you can adjust this distance. You don't need much of a bleed. Probably 0.09 will work fine. Then what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. You're going to go up to the fill pattern window, click on it, and these are the patterns that the Silhouette Cameo comes with, except for this one, I purchased that. And you get to play with those. Let's just go ahead and click here. Now, if you, if you were to just go ahead and go through the steps that we just did, it's going to cut here and cut this line, and we do not want that. So we're going to go in to the Cut Style window, we're going to select the outside line, and we're going to say No Cut. And so now you can see this line is going to print, this line is going to cut, and this is just a printed area or a bleed. And that is how easy it is to flood fill an image with a pattern and have the stitching. The one thing I didn't mention is the stitching, well let me show you that in just a minute. Let's go ahead now and do white stitching. So we're going to go to the fill color window, we're going to leave it just exactly like it is. Let's pick this color and fill it. Same principle, this will print, this will cut, and there will be no cut lines here. Well, let's go back in to the line color, and this is where you can change the line color to any particular color. 
if I clicked on green, oops, I've got the wrong one highlighted. I'm going to hit undo. Let's just move this out to show you. It's a little easier to see. You could group all of this together, but since I did three different techniques, I didn't group them. You'll go ahead and you can pick any color you want. We're going to pick white. Then what I'm going to do is just put that right back in the center. And you can use your align tools to do that, but I just eyeball it. So now let's go to the cut window and I just want to show you. This is going to print, this is going to cut, and then you're going to have a little bit of a bleed here. I think this is so much fun. And you can do this on any image. If you're doing a card, if you're doing like a turkey card and you want each layer to have white stitching, you can flood fill with any color or you can flood fill with a pattern and use brown stitching. I just think it's a wonderful technique. Well, I'm going to go ahead and print these out and cut them and then we'll get back together and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. Now I'd like to share with you some of the files that we just printed. We printed this file using our printer and then we put it on to um, the mat and put it in the Silhouette Cameo and hit the cut key. And look at what happened. Isn't this gorgeous? It's just a perfect cut. And for this particular one, I just used double-sided paper. And the next one we did, I wanted to show you how it turned out. This was the one that we flood filled the image and we did a, I call it a bleed. And you can see that I did this probably thicker than we needed to. You don't want to waste too much ink. But look how perfect the stitching is and how even. And then lastly, and I love this effect, we did the flood fill and we did the white stitching. And I just think it's so crisp and clean looking to have the white on it. Now I want to show you just something really quick that we really didn't do, but I wanted to show it to you. Last week, Silhouette had a free print and cut image, and that's this particular image. Well, what I did, because there wasn't room to do it, an internal offset, I went ahead and changed this line to a, a stitch line and then I created an offset beyond that and then just changed the cut line to here. And doesn't that look amazing? It just adds a little something. And here's another one that I did it with. I just love the print and cut feature. Well, thanks for visiting and please visit my blog at paperboutique.blogspot.com or my Facebook page, Paper Boutique with Linda Kaiser, for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.